At the beginning of August, Motorola invited a gaggle of reviewers and journalists out to the old ballpark for some food, folks, and fun. But before that, they had a huge announcement for us. No, no, not the phone. They announced 5G mobile internet coming from Verizon. And yes, they also announced a new-ish phone called the Moto Z3. And we wanted to put it through its paces. I'm Adam Dowd with Board at Work, and I want to talk about this phone and the future with you. The Moto Z3 is, well, it's a little strange. The Moto Z line of phones typically denotes a flagship series of phones by Motorola, and the Z3 is certainly no exception, if it happens to be 2017. Of course, if you'll check your calendars, you'll notice that it's 2018 and actually almost 2019. And here we are left with the Moto Z3, which is the result of the Moto Z2 Force and the Moto Z3 Play having a little bit of sexy time and making a Moto Z3 baby. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, God. Ow. Oh, 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 God, that's so wrong. Stop it. Anyway, what I mean is, the design of the phone is the Moto Z3 Play, so much so that earlier when I showed you the Moto Z3 Play, you didn't realize that it was actually the Moto Z3. Add to that an almost exact spec-for-spec -spec copycat of the Moto Z2 Forest, and ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Moto Z3. What this makes is a phone that is wholly, completely, and totally unremarkable in every way. The speed is nice. The screen is large and nice. The battery is nice. The camera is nice. It's just a good but completely unremarkable phone. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because this phone has a future-proof trick up its sleeve and it's probably not what you're thinking. We'll get to that in a little bit, but first a little bit more about the phone. The Moto Z3 is a Verizon exclusive, but it does work with non-Verizon SIM cards. It just kind of whines at you a little bit when you try. The phone is super slim like most in the Moto Z series, and the Moto Z3 works with mods like all other Moto Z phones. You can snap on a projector or a gamepad and get hours of fun out of this phone. It's nice to know that Moto is keeping the three-year promise it made when Moto Mods first came out, and it looks like that promise will carry well into year four. That's really great news for members of the Moto Mod Militia, and the best part about the Moto Z3 also comes in the form of a mod, but again, probably not for the reason you're thinking. So let's get into it. In addition to the Moto Z3, Verizon announced that it would be bringing its 5G mobile network in early 2019, and the Moto Z3 would be the first phone that is upgradable to work on the 5G network with a mod. The 5G Moto mod will snap onto the back of the Moto Z3, no word about compatibility with other Moto Z phones, and the Z3 will be able to take advantage of the 5G network just like that. Well, that's pretty awesome, and it's something that the Moto Z3's closest competitors, like the Honor 10 View or the OnePlus 6, don't have. But that's still not the most awesome thing about the Moto Z3. If you'll recall, when the nation's first 4G network started rolling out, well, it was a little bit of a show. Battery life was terrible, different carriers had different technologies, does anybody remember WiMAX for God's sakes? If you bought into the first generations of 4G phones, you may have had a pretty miserable experience. And that is the Moto Z3's main advantage when it comes to the competition. Trust me when I tell you, the Moto Z3 will not be the only 5G phone coming out of carrier stores when 5G comes to the masses. But it will be the only phone where you can easily disconnect the 5G mod and go back to old reliable 4G until all the carriers get their acts in order. So when you think about it, the Moto Z3's key advantage over any other phone in its class is future-proofing, regardless of what that future holds. If 5G is great, pop on the mod and you're good to go. If 5G is awful, leave the mod at home and maybe try a nice flip case instead. You will have all the flexibility you need and it'll come on a decent, but certainly not great phone. Thanks for checking out this quick look at 2018's most unremarkable flagship, the Moto Z3. Are you looking forward to 5G? Let us know down in the comments. And in the meantime, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when new videos come every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you like this video, give it a little thumb love. Once again, I'm Adam Dow, Dead Technology on Twitter, reminding you to always enjoy your entertainment.